commodity. You cannot just walk into a market and buy one. It takes time. I've had my heart broken so many times and I don't want to get into another relationship like this. Zinabu, those are fabrics. Make sure you don't put them in the kitchen. Hey, madam. You put fabrics in a I bag. said fabrics, not fabrics. Mm. No, mom. It was a joke. I was talking to my house girl. The sound. It is a combination of fatter and bricks. Fatter bricks. Simple. <laughs> Madam, do you said it? Sumo, no, no. You don't understand what she was talking about. <laughs> So thank you, Veggie's guy, eh? Thank you. Hi, Pinto. Hey, you okay? I'm good. I'm fine. You? I'm fine. Come on, Pinto. You're so stiff. Sure. Nothing. You know what? I have to go. Oh, Come on, sister. Okay, okay. Now let's get a kiss. Have no fear. Fear to die. No fear. Beat me. Okay, can I just get out? Lara! Are you still in the washroom? Then we should go screaming again. Lara! Come I'm coming! I'm ready, darling. It's the minute. I don't have a minute. My department has a meeting with the sector minister and I can't afford to be late. Margaret, you come home early this evening. You're cooking dinner. Mom, Dad, I, I need to talk to you. Not right now, darling. This is not a time for chit-chat. It's not chit-chat. It's really important. What is it, my dear? Martin, if you're going to listen to her, then please give me the car keys. Better still, I'll go in my own car. It's about Pinto. That criminal. Has he been arrested? No. What about Pinto? He's innocent. I knew you had nothing important to say. Martin, I'm leaving. What? what are you talking about, Margaret? Dad, Mom told the police that Pinto had something to do with the robbery. You what? Yes, because he's the only one who comes to the house. Well, that's wrong. Dad, he's the one that rescued us that night. What? Well, how come you didn't tell us anything? Don't stand there and lie. I know he bribed you to patronize us. He didn't bribe me. And I didn't tell you because I knew you would think differently. Exactly. So what was he doing at that time of the night here? Mom, she's telling the truth. Pinto doesn't sleep at night sometimes. He saw the robbers park their van in front of our house and 
suspected them. So how come we ended up being robbed anyway? He was unarmed, so he played the police siren from his phone, and that's what scared the robbers away. Yeah, that's how come Margaret wasn't raped. Is this true? Yes, ma'am. He saved us. Cecilia, you should have spoken to me before you took this action. You wouldn't have agreed. Well, you almost got an innocent man arrested. How do you feel about that? Look, I am the head of this house, and you don't... Stop yelling. I'll get the police to stop hunting him. Now, please, can we go? And Margaret, I've got what's for dinner ticked on the menu. Come home early. Look, I'll see you in the morning. Have a good day. Thank you. Come on, girl. It's just sex. It's not a big deal. Ah, uh, with a guy you barely know? Well, that's not like a big deal to me. Well, I feel like I already know a little about him. That's, that's enough. And that little could make you drop your drawers for him? Stop it, Trish. You're making me feel bad. Mm, sorry, it is what it is. But anyway, I mean, I like him very much. Besides, it's been, what, like a year since I had sex, so yeah. it's cool. Well, you have the sex now, so slow down. Get to know the dude better before you drop all onto his table. Trish, enough about me, okay? Moving on to you. <laughs> how's your boyfriend, that Italian guy? He, I mean, he seems really sweet, buddy. How's everything going, the relationship? Are you guys, you know? Oh, well. Mm. Well, Jay's hanging in there. Um, I think I like him too. Mm -hmm, me too. But I keep snuffing his calls. Intentionally. Trying to make him yearn for it. Yep. <laughs> so wait, are you calling me cheap now? Are you saying I'm a cheap girl? Whoever said something about being cheap? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's drink to our accomplishment. <laughs> what did you write to me? Mm -hmm. Almost went to the market to buy. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Williams, but because of the holiday, the demand was very high. Sorry. Take these things inside for me. Okay, thank you. Listen, on your way out, could you please tell Pinto I'd like to see him? Yeah, Mom. I, I don't know. The last time I saw him, he looked pretty angry. Yeah. Um, anyway, just tell him I'd like to see him, and um, perhaps somewhere this evening I'll find the time to go to his place. Yes? Okay. Is that useless about the rest of Yeah, he should be here. All right. Thank you. Matthew. Matthew. Come on out here and help me, please. I'm not going to allow you into my house. Whatever is it you want to talk about, just say it here. I miss you, Celine. You came all the way here to tell me you miss me. <laughs> I miss you too. Celine, I know you don't want to see me anymore, but can I at least get the chance to write my film papers again? Please. Why not? If you think you're ready and you've learnt enough, 
course you can. Um, wait, why don't you wait behind on Monday, okay? You can write your papers on Monday. Okay, thanks. All right, bye. Look, Dre, this deal cannot backfire. A lot depends on it. Well, we'll find a way to let the guy pay and get a different account or something. No, Kunta showed me the documents and they are all genuine. So what is this you're telling me? No one is seeing Barbara and me. No, no. Let the white man pay the money. And make sure next time you call me, you give me some good news. Oh. <sighs> This is why I prefer to do things all by myself. You put someone in charge and then mess your thing up. Baba! I'm here! Baba! Are you still sleeping in my bed? Meg, so what do you tell your mom? What if you're not that lucky? Could you just stop being so negative? Oh. How do I look? You look gorgeous, honey. <laughs> Nick is gonna love that outfit. He just not mentioned his name. But he likes you, dear. Well, I don't like him. He's just... He's so rude. He's like the cutest boy in school. I don't care. Whatever.
You will never reach your destination if you stop to throw stones at every dog that back. Winston Churchill. Smith. You always said that to get rid of me. No, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm at the brink of completing an experiment. Good. Let's do it together then. Explain the circuit in relation to the compound in the basin. What? belongs to us. Eh, so can we do some popping? Which one is that one? Ah, oh, Zinabu. <laughs> so you don't know. Oh, Zinabu. <laughs> See, Zinabu, I told you, a little bit of education is good. Oh. It's good, Papa. <laughs> popping. Okay. Popping means um, nobody's here. So we are going to spoil everywhere. Help me, I will teach you a lot of schools. House style, dog style, cow style, and then cat style. <laughs> no. Do you know where I learned it from? Eh? From Asian porno, porno in Madame's room. Jobe. Eh? You have been sneaking inside Madame's room. Hey, you don't know, stop that. <laughs> you are viewing as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Ah. ah. Blanca did. Well done. You know, make I tell you something. Mm. Uh, if you won't allow me to, to pop with you, I will also tell Madame that uh, you are dating that two by two, good for nothing, Rasta man. Uh. Uh. Okay. Tell Madame. Me too. The blue film she's fine me. Is you too. Uh, uh, stop that. Uh, you, are, you, are, you are talking as if you don't know what, uh, 
what I'm saying. Ah, you, we are very, very, you know, no, no, you, you take it serious. Ah, why? Ah, why? Oh, you know that, Madam Ruby. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I hear, but I will only tell Madame the verse one of it. But as for the verse two, dear, I will keep it here. Okay, tell, yeah, tell Madame. No, no, hey, 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 tell Madame. She's not back yet. How? She should have come back by now. And where were you? I was in my room. You're always in your room. What were you doing? Nothing, Mom. told you what to do. But my mom wants to see you. What for? Um, I, I, I told her that you saved us from the robbers. What? Why would you tell her such a crazy thing like that? I wasn't even there. I, I know, but it's the only way that I can tell her to tell the police that you had nothing to do with the robbery. So what is she going to see you for? I don't know. Uh, maybe just apologize? You don't want no apology. Just tell her to tell the police to stop chasing me, you know? Yeah, I know. She, I, she already did. She told the police commissioners all of them that you had nothing to do with the robbery. So the police not coming for me again? No. All right then, that's cool. Uh, um, uh, what about the picture? I have it. Can you delete it? <laughs> no, man, I'm keeping it. Trust me, your parents not going to see that picture, you know. But I must keep it, just in case. You try something funny in the future, you know. Um, my mom's calling. I, I have to go. All right no, then. Mom. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food that you have given us. We ask, Lord, that you sanctify it, and we ask that you join us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Margaret. Why are you coming home at this time of the night? You left 10 o'clock in the morning. Why are you coming home at this time? Yeah, um, um, I had a seminar, and then I passed by Pinto's to give him the message. How long did it take you to give Pinto the message? Look at the time. 10 o'clock in the morning you left. Look at how late it is. It's okay, she's here now. Hmm? Sit down, let's have dinner. <laughs> 